Today we're gonna make mustard braised chicken thighs. This recipe is good year round. You can have it spring, winter, summer, fall. It doesn't matter. You can switch up your sides to go along with the season. Chicken is the evergreen meat. <laughs> Hi, I'm Faraday, we're in the Munchies Test Kitchen, and today we're gonna to be making a white wine and mustard braised skin-on, bone-in chicken thighs. So the cool thing about this recipe is that everything is literally happening in this one pan. So we're gonna slice up some shallots, peel the skin back like this. So we're just gonna slice it crosswise like this. So always hold your fingers back, you don't wanna slice off your fingertips. That's not good. Slice six shallots. These are some big cloves of garlic. What I'm gonna do is just kind of smash it. It makes it really easy to peel. I'm only using four, but sometimes I might use six. Depends on how garlic you like it. If you're allergic to garlic or you don't like garlic or if you're on a date and you don't wanna have garlic breath, don't use garlic, it's fine. <laughs> I really do love the smell of garlic in my fingers. What we're gonna do now is just season our chicken all over with salt and pepper. So, I'm gonna let my pan heat up. I'm gonna add about a quarter cup of olive oil. This is about three quarters cup of all-purpose flour. So we're just gonna dredge our chicken in the flour. Give it a little shake, a little shakey shake. And I'm putting it in here skin side down first. I'm gonna let that get crispy first and then I'll flip it over. So that's nice color on there. This is a good recipe for beginners. If you're just learning how to cook chicken or cook in general, really easy. While those are still in there, I'm gonna add in my shallots and my garlic to the side. This will cook for maybe like three to four minutes. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt to this. The salt, what that does too, is it helps release the moisture from the shallots and the garlic, which is gonna help soften them and they're not gonna like burn. Just give it a shake. What, one pan, one, one tool? I'm gonna add those six tablespoons of white wine to deglaze. Also, if you don't wanna use white wine, um, you don't have to. You could just use chicken stock. I'm gonna use white wine though. A little bit of steam bubbling up in there. I'm gonna let that reduce down, maybe by half. Um, so this isn't gonna get you drunk. It's just imparting flavor and like I said, deglazing your pan also. I'm gonna add three quarters of a cup chicken stock. My mustards, quarter cup whole grain mustard, two tablespoons Dijon mustard. I really like Dijon. I think it has a nice little kind of flavor and a little kick. I love whole grain though, because it has those grains of mustard that kind of pop in your mouth, and I really I like that too. I wouldn't necessarily use yellow mustard. That's, let's, let's leave that for hot dogs, okay? So I'm gonna stir that in there. I'm also adding a touch of honey. So that's done right now. I'm gonna add my chicken back into the pan. So I was cooking everything on about medium high. I turned the pan off right now, so it doesn't need to be on anymore. I'm gonna nestle my chicken into here. You want them in a nice even layer. So you can really only fit about six in here. So I'm gonna put a lid on this guy. I'm gonna put it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 40 minutes until the chicken is nice and tender and cooked through. This is a really good time to clean up your whole area. Chicken kind of splatter and grease and whatever. Take the time to clean. Ta-da! Wine and chicken and mustard. It's a good combo. <laughs> we go. And don't forget, the handle of this is really hot because it just came out of the oven. This whole pan is like piping hot. So don't burn yourself. Be careful. Put this on the platter. And then I'm gonna add some cream in just to kind of add a little bit more richness to it, a little more depth. Mix it in there. And then a little bit of parsley on top. And this is your mustard and white wine braised chicken thighs. I'm gonna try some. This sauce is just so good too. Literally could just drink this sauce, just as is, like this. Oh, fuck, that's good. That was really good. Here we go. It's perfect. Mustard, little pops of the whole grain are so good. I would totally eat this with like mashed potatoes and like a salad or 
I mean, shit, just eating like this is amazing. You're gonna definitely impress your friends and any dinner guests you have with this, or just make it for yourself and don't share with anybody and eat it all week long.